If you were a house, what kind of house would you be? A strong one. A broken one. A warm, welcoming one. Or would we be a very guarded house, where nobody can get too close and no one has any idea what's going on inside? Would we be one of those super extravagant houses on the outside that's a little cold and empty on the inside? Or would we be an invisible house all alone right in the middle of all the other houses? Whatever it may be, I think for most of us, we're okay with the very basic upkeep. Something breaks, we fix it. A paint job here and there, and maybe a new rug in the bathroom. And our house is good. Enough. Then there are those who are always working on home improvement. New kitchens, new floors, new additions. As far as their resources will take them, always trying to make their homes better. And this is good. But God isn't interested in home improvement, fixing some leak or a new paint job. He wants to tear the whole thing down and build a giant palace in its place. And not some cookie-cutter McMansion type of thing, but something new, unlike anything else. That's still 100%. Now this type of building is supernatural and requires supernatural construction and materials. We call these, and these resources are free and unlimited. And we're not going to like it at first as all those old walls we put up have to come down. And all that mold is exposed in places we didn't even know existed. And we'll fight it and say, I'm not changing this and don't touch that. And he'll say, but that has to go in order to make this more beautiful. And we'll think we know better and try to do the plumbing our way. And then a year later, the whole thing will explode and they'll smile and say, this time, let's do it together. But eventually, through this relationship, we begin to trust. And eventually, we learn to let go. Until eventually, we leave the keys to the whole thing in his hands. We call this and the work is never done, not even in a million lifetimes. It just keeps evolving slowly and imperceptibly, becoming more and more. And the whole thing is built on a foundation that will never break, placed on top of a mountain to be a giant light. God isn't interested in just some nice house. He wants it to be perfect because he's moving in. The God of the universe wants his spirit to live in you and you in him for all eternity. That is an intimate relationship. So he's waiting, even at this very instant, bags packed in his giant excavator, ready to break ground. But he's not going to touch a single thing without our consent. 